You know, I did the underrated about Tim Duncan yesterday, and I'm going to talk about the Moses Malone. He's in the same category, Larry Bird and Magic Johnson. Three-time league MVPs um, with other guys who won it multiple times. But why is Moses Malone so underrated? You know, uh, is it because he didn't come across maybe articulate or crossover like they wanted? You know, when he won his ring with Dr. J and they came together in 83, 444, which became a song Roe Washington Jr. Uh, produced for Pieces of a Dream. They were out of Philly, that whole thing. It's a catchphrase. But no one ever talks about Moses Malone's impact. He had battles with Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. It doesn't get talked about. He had battles with Robert Parrish. It doesn't get talked about. Moses Malone is one of the most slept on all-time great centers and players, period. I know his ABA deers here and what have you, but what he accomplished, I mean, when he had the Rockets, I lived in Houston back then. I remember Allen Level and the late Robert Reed who just passed, Rudy Tomjanovich who ended up winning rings with the Rockets years later. Never underestimate the heart of a champion if you remember that. And post Kermit Washington punch to the jaw because that was still the most jarring thing I've seen. And a young Mike Dunlavey Sr., Moses Malone, and back when Dale Harris was younger, and he was coaching on that team. You know, you go back in time, you think about this. Moses' style of rebounding, his style of play. You know, you wonder to yourself, a three-time MVP, a world champion, finals MVP, you know, did what he did. Why is he doesn't get talked about even more than he should? You know, obviously there's the, standards of Shaquille O'Neal, Will Chamberlain, Bill Russell, and Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Then you then you get you can debate Moses Malone, Hakeem Olajuwon. Jokic is coming up that chain. Gotta acknowledge that Willis Reed David Robinson. So you got guys that you can debate, you know. But Moses Malone has been unfairly left off a lot of list. He did his body of work and what he accomplished wasn't for not. But I know some people are gonna act like, well, he got those MVPs when um uh, the uh, the Taco Bell manager was on duty or the painter was, you know, painting the canvas. It really didn't count. It's funny how when they want to acknowledge something for what their agenda, you have to be styling and profiling. A lot of times, great players who didn't necessarily have the media savvy or charisma to connect in the film, they, but they were great, gets marginalized. It happened in baseball with Eddie Murray, and I might do a video about that because he was a great player. He just didn't smile and shuck and grin. Moses was a no-nonsense soul brother, you know. So it's important that you acknowledge the greatness. And do we always need our people to be grinning and smiling to call them a winner? Or can we just accept them that they're naturally great at what they do and respect their craft, you know? And that is an interesting argument in itself. Because Moses Malone definitely deserves more attention. And if you wanted to have Moses Malone anywhere in your top 20, who would argue with you? His body work speaks for itself. If you include his ABA, NBA career, numbers, successes, what he accomplished, you can make strong cases for Moses Malone. You know? And it ain't just an ABA thing or being too black and too scary because what's your excuse where Tim Duncan's concerned? But I'm just showing out the hypocrisy the uh, the uh, hypocriteness of what these so-called because a lot of these white writers and people and some black ones will come around later who well you weren't stylish enough you didn't do this enough you didn't dance enough you didn't smile this ain't a Broadway show this ain't dancing with the stars these guys were great players Moses Malone deserves to get his due please hit like subscribe welcome thoughts comments and I do respond thank you wash your hands keep your mind clear watch out for another Share it if you like. And I'm going to be doing this about music artists too. Too black and too scary. Hard to ignore. I'm out.